uh, in the spring of 94, web usage was growing at 2,300% a year. Now, you have to keep in mind, uh, human beings aren't good at understanding exponential growth. It's just not something we see in our everyday life. But things don't grow this fast outside of Petri dishes. It just doesn't happen. Um, and when I saw this, I said, okay, what's a business plan that might make sense in the context of that growth? I made a list of 20 different products that you might be able to sell online. I was looking for the first best product. And I chose books for lots of different reasons, but one primary reason, and that is that there are more items in the book space than there are items in any other category by far. There are over three million different books worldwide in all languages. The number two product category in that regard is music, and there are about 300,000 active music CDs. Now, when you have this huge catalog of products, you can build something online that you just can't build any other way. The largest physical bookstores, uh, the largest superstores, uh, and these are huge stores, uh, often converted from bowling alleys and movie theaters, can only carry about 175,000 titles. There are only a few that large. In, in our online catalog, we're able to list over 2.5 million different titles and give people access to those titles. And being able to do something online that you can't do in any other way is important. It's all about the, the fundamental tenet of building any business, which is creating value proposition for the customer. And online, especially three years ago, but even today and for the next several years, the value proposition that you have to build for customers is incredibly large. Um, and that's because the web is a pain to use today. Uh, we've all experienced the modem hang-ups and the browsers crash, and there are all sorts of inconveniences. Websites are slow, modem speeds are slow. So if you're going to get people to use a website in today's environment, you have to uh, offer them overwhelming compensation for this primitive infant technology. And I would claim that that compensation has to be so strong that it's basically the, uh, the same as saying you can only do things online today that simply can't be done any other way. And that's why this huge number of products looked like a, a winning combination online. Uh, there was the, no, there's no other way to have a two and a half million title bookstore. You can't do it in a physical store, but you also can't do it in a print catalog. If you were to print the Amazon.com catalog, it would be the size of more than 40 New York City phone books. 